So this is just a video going through the dihedral angle. So the dihedral angle, um, it appears regularly on the DCG syllabus. So it's very important for students to understand it and get a grasp of it early on. So we know that the dihedral angle is the angle between two planes. Um, it's the smallest angle that can be measured between two planes and it's measured perpendicular to each plane. And it's also perpendicular to the line of intersection. So just looking at this example here, um, so we have our surfaces, just seeing as in this model as well, this is our plan. So we're just looking down here. So what we want to get is our dihedral angle. So firstly what we need to do is um, we need to identify a line of intersection in our plan. So just here, so we want to intersect these two surfaces here. P and Q. So that means we're going to identify our line of intersection as our line OB. So just when we have our line of intersection, we want to get our true length of that line. So we know how to get our true length. So we're going to get our X1, Y1 line. It's going to be parallel to our OB, our line of intersection. And then we're going to bring out each point perpendicular to our to our x1 y1 line so then just to get our true length as we all know we go back up to two views up to our up to our elevation and we get our heights and mark them off so now we have our true length um, what we want to get is the point view of this line ob so rather than looking at a line we want to look just imagine looking straight straight at this line ob so you're looking in the direction so all you can see is a point so just then to get our dihedral angle we're going to extend this line our true length line up um, to our second auxiliary so we're going to form our x2 y2 line which is perpendicular to this line we then um, extend our point ac up as well parallel to our true length line so same as before we go back two views so this time we're going back to our plan to get our heights so then we mark off our heights so we have c and a and then o so that'll be the, the the top of the of this surface here so remember what we're trying to get is our dihedral angle so we're trying to intersect um these two surfaces p and q so now when we now we've actually formed our dihedral angle so we have here c to o that would be here. So that's our edge view of our plane Q. Just the edge view here, plane Q. And then here we have A to O, which is our edge view of our plane P. So that's just here, here in our model as well. So in between there is our dihedral angle. And that's just uh, the basics of finding our dihedral angle.